Hi, it's Marie from Still Dreaming Homestead. Glad to be back with you again tonight. We're going to continue reading our book, Do You Love Me? Now, this is going to be a story about how much Jesus does love us. How much do you love me? Nail that man to the cross, someone said. The men nailed Jesus to the cross. And they watched him. Jesus had not hurt them, but they were hurting Jesus. Then Jesus talked to God about these men. Don't hurt them for hurting me, he said. Forgive them. These people had not seen a man like this before. They were hurting him, but he was loving them. That man is God's son, said one of them. Surely he is God's son. When De Jesus died on the cross, he showed how much he loved the people. He showed how much he loves you and me. Does Jesus love us very much? I would think so. He loves us so much that he died to help us come to God. Can he love us any more than that? He gave everything he had, even his whole life. Now, here are some of the questions. Do you know why the men hurt Jesus? Well, they were ordered to hurt him. They were ordered to crucify him. That's what it meant when it said nail him to a cross. But did Jesus ever hurt them? Nope. Nope, he never did. Did he love them? Yeah. Do you know how he could tell? He asked his father in heaven, don't hurt them because they've hurt me. Do you think we should love Jesus because he died for us, for our since when we do things wrong, like um, hmm, maybe we don't want to get in trouble and our parents ask us, did you break that? And we're going, no, no, it wasn't me. Well, that's a lie. Breaking it. That can be an accident, but when we lie to get out of it, that's a sin. Or what about, I hope none of you have ever done this, but I, I do know people that have, went in a store and they saw they wanted something. Like one of my boys, one time when he was real little, too little to know that it was wrong, we walked by the candy section. And he grabbed a piece of candy and put it in his pocket. He was very little. And when we got out to the car, I saw him opening up this candy. I said, where did you get that? He said, in the store. I said, well, you can't just take things. That doesn't belong to us. That's called stealing. And so we went back in and he had to give it back. And he had to apologize. So we can do those type of things. But God still loves us and he wants to forgive us. He's so good. He just waits for us to say we're sorry. Lots of times we'll have to make it up. Like maybe if you um, broke something of somebody's, then you either have to fix it. Or 
buy the person a new one. Or maybe if you don't have any money, then you do something for them. Maybe you might rake some leaves or feed their dogs, something to help earn that. When you do that, you're showing that you have honor. And that's a wonderful thing. You're also showing Jesus that you want to show him you love him. And we can always tell him how much we love him. That's a very good thing. Well, I think this was a good story. It was kind of sad, but it was also amazing that God came and was willing to do that so that one day we could go to heaven. Well, it's Maria from Still Dreaming Homestead. I want to pray blessings on you and yours in your house and out of your house in the day and the night. And whatever you do, keep dreaming. Bye-bye. I'll be back tomorrow.